You, I don't know how you cab drivers do it. How do you sit in London traffic all day and cope with drivers? I can't imagine how any of you are still sane. It takes me about an hour, something like that, to get uh, to uh, work. I, dr I drive in and I drive back. And at, on no day do I ever do that trip without seeing somebody who should be dragged from behind the wheel and beaten to the ground with a police truncheon. I don't know where the hell the police are, uh, but they're not doing anything about the drivers who are, who are running about insane in this town. You know, some councils have put up 20 mile an hour limits. What's the point? What is the point of putting a 20 mile an hour limit? Nobody ever, ever, ever goes at 20 miles an hour, apart from me. And you know what going at 20 miles an hour in a 20 mile an hour limit does to the people behind you? It makes them go berserk. There's a road near Clapham North that's got uh, humps going all the way down it. Like, not, not little ones, big ones. Big ones that you, uh, that you ground your c the bottom of your car on if you go at any kind of speed. Huge. And they're every 20 yards, something like that. And 20 miles an hour is written on a sign in that area. And the word slow is written on the road. And what that means to your average numpty in a hatchback is go faster. What that means is tailgate somebody who is going at a reasonable speed, i.e. 20 miles an hour, and flash your lights at them uh, like you're in a disco. This happened to me just yesterday. Tailgated me within inches of the back of me, all the way down that road, flashing his lights like constantly, on and on and on and on and on, like he'd lost his mind. This is why people get shot in America, is because people have guns. If I had a gun, I'd probably be doing this show in prison right now. I wanted to kill him. And he's... <laughs> we're sitting at a red light. I'm behind, I'm behind a bus. So I have to wait till the bus moves off when the red light uh, changes to green. And the red light changed to green. And the bus uh, it took a normal amount of time to get going and the guy behind me is flashing his lights. Not just a little bit, but just c continuously. Like he's insane. <laughs> As though I can make the bus go faster. See, there's no point in having a 20 mile an hour zone because nobody does it. Just like there's not much point in having a 70 mile an hour zone on the uh, motorway. Nobody does 70 mile an hour on the motorway either. Except for when there's roadworks and they have the 50 mile an hour average speed cameras. That is the only time that you will ever see anybody on the motorway doing the actual speed limit and no more. But if it's a 50 mile an hour limit and it's, uh, and it's uh, average speed cameras, you better be doing exactly 50. Because if you're doing 49, the person behind you will just, you know, they'll be pulling their hair out and losing their mind. I've had it with drivers, I really have. I've said this before, and this is absolutely correct. The test itself is not enough. Because people are on their best behaviour to pass their test. And when they're not being tested anymore, then, they, uh, the, then their inner a real me comes out. Every single car in the country needs to have a black box in it. We need to have the technology such that every single car in the country is continuously tracked from space. And if they are closer than two cars distance at a speed of, let's say, 20 miles an hour, or four cars distance at a speed of 30 miles an hour, then from space they'll have their engine automatically turned off and uh, a lorry dispatched to crush the car in front of them, or preferably while they're in it. It's the only way. Human beings have had their chance and they blew it big time. We just can't drive. Most of us have got absolutely no clue whatsoever about how to drive. Uh, <laughs> people drive like they're in a video game. They drive like everybody else on the road is never going to do anything surprising or out of the ordinary. That's what they rely on. Because they think that they're brilliant drivers, these morons who zip in and out at 50 mile an hour in a 30 zone and undertake and overtake and sway from lane to lane uh, because they think they're uh, Lewis Hamilton. They think they're fantastic drivers because they haven't crashed yet. And the only reason they haven't crashed yet is because everybody else is doing their best to avoid them.
every day this happens to me and i only drive uh, like, like i said uh, less than two hours a day cab drivers who are out there for eight hours a day or more how do you stand it you, i don't know how you cab drivers do it how do you sit in london traffic all day and cope with drivers i can't imagine how any